Hello once again, this is Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are going to be watching a pad mounted transformer change out. Our participating utility is Kansas City Power and Light. And this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonnell. Now to start with you see they're using what's called a noisy tester to test for voltage on the lines. Uh, they have a couple of transformers nearby that they need to take offline in order to work on the transformer that's going to be changed. They're putting on insulated caps to ground those transformers. Here you see what's called a backyard machine. You see the green cube on the front is the new transformer that's going to be put in. Uh, and this is being driven by the guy with the pad in back of the machine. You see it come into the area where they're going to do the actual transformer change out now. It's a backyard machine. And then here you see the new transformer being lifted off of the backyard machine using some straps and the boom. Here is the old transformer where they're making some disconnections right now of cables and wires so they can pull it up. There it is being lifted up out of it's pad. Uh, you notice the one of the linemen has a GoPro camera on. I think you're going to see that a little bit better in a second. There's the new transformer being put, put back down into place on the existing pad. And now you can see his GoPro camera as they're doing some of the connections for the new transformer that's been set in place. And you see tightening down some of the bushings and the wires making all the connections on the new transformer. This is the GoPro footage, of course, from his hard hat. Making sure everything is connected as it needs to be. You will now see him putting on some uh, protective covers in the bushings so that they can uh, perform the rest of their the needed task on this transformer starting with uh, using the shotgun or hot stick again uh, neutralizing this transformer so they can pull the old elbow off see them using the noisy tester again to check for voltage they're gonna put this orange elbow which is the ground that's gonna ground this cable put that on this transformer. Once that's in place, here's the old elbow and you can see the issue with this transformer was there was some oil leakage in that elbow and some of the rubber there is very distended or swelled. So I need to take that apart and put a new one in. And you'll see him here now trying to get the old elbow off of that cable. Success. And now mm. You're going to use what's called ratchet cutters to cut a clean connector or a clean termination of that distribution cable. He's going to go ahead and peel back some of the insulation around there to expose the wire or cable. And then they're going to put a metal sleeve on it and use a crimping tool. You can hear this crimping tool here, bear down and secure that connection to the conducting wire. Once that is done, you can see the new elbow maybe at his feet here. He's putting on the identification tag, which identifies the cable and transformer get that secured onto the cable and then uh, the last task is going to be grabbing the hot sticks or shotguns again and using them to now secure the new elbow there you picking up the newly constructed reconstructed elbow and connect that in and with that you have seen our video on a pad mounted transformer change out the work was performed by kansas city power and light and our video sponsor was burns and mcdonnell i am jim ducart with tnd how videos thank you as always for watching